Hey guys, it's Charlie, and in this how-to video, I'm gonna show you guys how to turn any photo into a vector graphic using Photoshop and Illustrator together to make it all work. Now, let's talk about what a vector graphic is first. Obviously, if you have a normal photo, right, that you shot on your phone or your camera or whatever, that's a raster-based image, right? Everything you do in Photoshop is raster-based. It's pixel-based. Illustrator is completely different. It doesn't work with raster-based images or pixels. It works with vector. Vector basically means it's lossless, meaning you can scale it to any size since there is no pixels it's going to have perfect sharpness which is ideal for things like logo design so today we're going to be taking a photo of a wolf that i found on unsplash.com and we're going to actually turn that into a vector graphic with a few easy steps so it's going to be really exciting hope you guys enjoy it and if you guys do enjoy it turn on all notifications and subscribe so you don't miss another video with that out of the way let's get started our journey today starts on unsplash.com this is where i'm going to find a photo to vectorize and you could use any photo you want by the way it doesn't really matter but i'm going to use a wolf because that's what i used in one of my very first vector videos that did really good but it also got really bad reviews because i didn't explain things that great so i'm hoping to uh kind of redeem myself today so I found this wolf right here. I'm gonna right click on him and uh, copy image. And that's pretty much all I have to do. Now I can open up Photoshop, which I have right here. Now let's start a new document. And the document that I'm gonna be using today is 2048 by 2048, just for simplicity purposes. And the resolution, I'm gonna make 300. And then the background, let's go ahead and make it white. So that's pretty much it. You can also just use the drop down menu and click white. And then for everything else, you could just keep that the same and then hit that big blue create button. The workspace that I'm in right now is essentials. If you guys wanna use it, you could totally do that. And if you guys wanna reset your workspace, you just go up to window workspace and then go to reset essentials. And this is what it looks like default. So now we are both at the same spot. So your workspace should look like mine. Since I already copied my image from Unsplash, all I have to do is press Command V on my keyboard. So it's already pasted for me and that's pretty much it. So let's resize it to about, let's say right here. We can move it all the way to the right. It really doesn't matter at this point. And that's it. So now we need to remove the background and we're going to use Adobe Sensei to do that. So locate properties and go down all the way. You're gonna see quick actions and this is what you need to use in order to select your subject. So hit select subject and it's going to make a rough kind of selection around your subject. It's not going to look the best, but that is totally fine. Zoom in just a little bit. And then what I like to do is go to my lasso tool. You can use any tool you want. And I'm going to hold in shift and you're gonna see this little plus icon, right? So now I can use the lasso tool to reselect the areas that were not properly selected, obviously. This stuff is super easy. It just takes a little bit of time. So I would definitely take your time on this, but I'm gonna rush through it a little bit, not gonna lie, because Obviously, I don't wanna bore you guys to death, but yeah, I mean, it did a pretty decent job. This isn't bad, so now what I wanna do is go to my layers palette, and if you go all the way at the bottom of the layers palette, you'll see a little rectangle with a circle cut out of it, and that is the layer mask. So we're gonna add a layer mask by clicking that, and as you can see, it's going to cut it out, and it doesn't look very pretty, but we're going to fix that in a second, so no worries at all. What we need to do from here is desaturate our image, and I have a really easy way to do that. I'm gonna select the thumbnail, not the layer mask, of my layer, so the thumbnail, which is the wolf, and I'm gonna hold in Shift Command U, and that is going to desaturate it for me. This back part does not look good, so what I wanna do to fix it is take my ellipse, an elliptical tool, and we're just going to round the back. And then from here, what I could do is right click, select inverse, and now we're selecting the outside, and then we can just take a hard round brush and then just paint that away. And remember with layer masks, black deletes and white adds. This looks way better now, right? So the only other thing I wanna do is go up to filter and camera raw filter. You could also do shift command A, and that will pop up the camera raw filter just like that. My goal for this is to bring out as much detail as possible. So I'm gonna raise the contrast a little bit and then up the clarity a lot and the texture a lot. That's pretty much all I have to do. And that looks way better. Let's do before and after. Before we start vectoring it, we need to apply one more effect. But in order to do that, we do need to convert this to a smart object. So I'm gonna right click on my layer just the blank area, which is like this little gray area. Right click, convert to smart object. Make sure your foreground is black and your background is white. If it's flipped, just hit D on your keyboard and it's going to reverse it back, okay? And that's pretty much all you have to do. Now let's go up to filter gallery. So under filter, go to filter gallery. And the only effect you're going to need is under sketch. It's called stamp, let's add that. And you can kind of copy my settings, but every photo is going to change. So kind of go off of your photo. I'm kind of digging this look right here. I like the contrast of it. So I'm gonna hit okay. 
and now we are ready to import it into Illustrator to Vector. I'm opening up Illustrator real quick. For continuity, let's go ahead and create the same exact document size, so 2048 by 2048. Make sure it's set the pixels as well, guys, not inches, and go 2048 by 2048 on the width and height, and that's pretty much it. Hit Create. Now we're back in Photoshop, so I already have my document prepared in Illustrator, but there is one thing that I noticed around the wolf's mouth like the teeth, it doesn't look very good. So I wanna to try to fix that by adding a stroke around everything and see if that fixes it. So I'm gonna add a stroke on the outside and just make it black. The bottom doesn't look very good, but it's okay, add a layer mask. And then we can make the brush a lot smaller, as you can see, and just start painting those away. See, we're masking those away to make this a lot smoother. Once that's fixed, you can go ahead and press Command A on your keyboard. That's going to select the entire artboard. Now we can do Shift Command C and that's going to copy everything together. You can also go up to Edit and Copy Merged. And let's go back to Illustrator, do Shift Command V to paste that in place. And as you can see, it's a lot smaller, that's okay. Let's just resize it. I don't know why it pasted it smaller because we're using the same exact document size, but that's fine. And it's actually okay if it has a little blur to it because we're going to go up to Image Trace. Now, Image Trace is literally going to trace over the lines of the image, making it a vector. So as of right now, it is a flat image, which means it's rasterized. It is a raster image, it's pixel based, right? So it's not a vector quite yet. So in order to vector it, we just need to hit image trace. So click those and then as you can see, it's going to trace over it and that looks pretty cool, but it's not quite there yet. So next to view, you're gonna see this little image trace panel, click that and then it's going to pop this little box up, right? Now we need to go to advanced and we can lower the noise on it. This is going to add the detail back to the image. Mess with path and corners and threshold until you find something that you're really happy with and then you can just ignore white. And this is literally going to delete all the white out of the image, leaving just the black. Now just press expand at the very top, and this is going to convert the tracing object into paths, and you are done. Now if I were to drag this onto my gray background, you can see that it's completely vector, it's completely traced. I can size this to any size I want, and we did that in a matter of, what, minutes? And we could take this so much further if we wanted to. We can add color to this if we want. I can literally duplicate this, and let's go to Pathfinder. So from here, I wanna go ahead and merge it, and that's going to do its thing. And then I can press Unite, and this should turn it completely black. And as you can see, we have a separate layer now, which is actually a really cool silhouette. And now, let's go ahead and drag that back into place, center everything together. That's usually the best way of doing it. So now everything's centered, and then we can change this to any color we want and then send that to the back and as you can see you're left with this and if you want to you can get crazy with it I can zoom in and then just delete the color out of the eye just like that see I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did let me know in the comment section below and if you guys would like to share your work with me so I can check it out you guys can follow me on Twitter at Charlie Pangus YT or Instagram at Charlie Pangus I love hearing from you guys all right so don't be strangers but uh, that's all I got for today guys keep creating keep being awesome I'll catch you in the very next video baby girl love my bop and I like me too no roof on my top and my babe see-through Hating on the pen, don't stop, shit ain't gon' feed you